everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I decided to make DIY anklets because it's still summer and we need to dress up our feet as well. <laughs> they look really cool and they are really easy to make so I really hope you like them and please let me know which one was your favorite. And if you enjoy watching this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more creative DIYs. I love you so much and I will see you next week with another tutorial. Bye! To make this cool copper and silver DIY anklet I used 22 gauge non-tarnish copper wire and I started with a piece which was about 20 inches long and I bend it in half. I then cut about 5 inches of silver plated chain and added that to the bent wire. Mind you, you could leave the chain a bit longer at first and then you can decide how much you want to cut off once the anklet is finished. Cut another piece of wire approximately 10 inches and wrap the end of it around the end of the bent wire 3 times, creating a loop. Get rid of any excess wire by cutting it with scissors. I use the back of a cutlery knife to push in the rest of the wire to hide the sharp edge. Then I started braiding the three wires together and after about two inches I added three silver beads and carried on braiding for another two inches. And then I finished the anklet by wrapping the two side wires around the middle one twice. Cut the excess off. And then press them with the knife again. Oh, and I did this on a picture frame backing as it's quite firm and I didn't want to make any dimples into my wooden table. Use a pen to create a small hook, cut off any excess wire and file it down with the nail file. Get a round object and give your anklet a round shape, then shape it more precisely around your ankle. And that's done! <laughs> Pretty cool looking, right? I also made this silver anklet out of 20 gauge silver plated copper wire with a silver chain. Just make sure the chain has eyes big enough to put the wire hook through them. The wire part of the anklet was a bit longer than the copper one, approximately 6 inches from hook to loop and the chain was 4.5 inches long. And this absolutely stunning anklet has been made out of 22 gauge gold plated copper wire but this time I added tiny blue and green glass beads and small pieces of gold plated chain, each of them being one and a half inches long. After about two inches of plain braiding, add one chain, then one green bead, chain again and start making another braid repeating the same process. Just swap the green bead for a blue one. Make 7 braids like this and then keep the braiding plain again and finish the anklet exactly the same as all the other ones. I then cut the chains with my scissors on one side, making the design pointy and once I was happy with the way they were cut, I cut the chains on the other side exactly the same. The longest chains were one and a half inches and the shortest ones were half an inch, but you can even cut them to size before adding them to the anklet if you like. It might be easier. It's so simple yet so beautiful. <laughs> To make this cute little anklet, start with 12 inches of gold plated wire, again 22 gauge, bend it, add 7.5 inches of gold chain, add the third wire, create a loop and then braid for 1 inch, add a piece of 1.5 inches long gold chain, a tiny pink bead and a piece of slightly shorter chain, make 5 braids like this and then finish off as usual. It looks great! But guys, these are just ideas. Remember, your imagination is the most powerful creator in the world. So let it do its thing. And not just with jewelry making, I mean in life in general. You can absolutely achieve anything you like and be the person you want to be. And I love you and I believe in you. So go on, get creative and stay cool. Bye. <laughs>